that people shop for houses and they compare, you know, similarly priced houses just like you would compare similar price items in the department store or in the grocery store. Say you're going to the department store and you're going to buy jeans and you're comparing several different pairs of jeans and some are $30, some are $70, and some are $100. I think you're going to compare the different types of quality that you can get for those costs and you're going to go with the best value no matter what. If the more expensive jeans are a better value, you're going to choose the more expensive jeans. If the cheaper jeans are just not made good and they're ruffled up and they look like they're not going to carry their value, you're probably not going to shop for those items. Now say for example you're in the grocery store and you're shopping for laundry detergent. You've literally got two. They're the exact same price. You're going to go with the one that makes the most sense because that's the better value. So if you've got laundry detergent for $7 here, laundry detergent for $7 here, if they're the exact same thing, what's the next thing you're going to look at? Do you have a coupon? Do you have a discount? Is there something else you can do to sweeten the pot? This is the exact same thing with buying a home. If you've got two homes that are the exact same price, the buyer's next going to look at, you know, how can I sweeten the deal? Is there any closing costs? Is there any concessions by the seller? How old is the HVAC? How old is the roof? And it makes so much more sense when you think about it that way because that's how we shop for everything.